my father died from heart attack and my mother had cancer so i always had the fear in my mind that what's going to be in store for me i'm sure that if your parents also have gone through some health challenges you always carry that fear when i went through a genetic testing i could realize or i could see that yes i am carrying those gene variants for coronary artery disease and that's a good thing that you know by doing a genetic testing you will come to know about the kind of risk factors for the kind of gene variants which can lead to different diseases but that is not uh, going to be the answer because just by knowing that you are carrying the gene variant which can lead to coronary artery disease is not going to help you you are going to be more panic but when you look at uh, you know the eplimo program where we look at from an epigenetic management point of view we also identify the triggers now i am carrying the gene variant for coronary artery disease but at the same time that gene variant has been there with me right from my birth so it is not expressed yet that means it is not triggered genes are loaded guns it need to be triggered the question is what's the trigger that's what we identify and in my case we could identify that my trigger is elevated levels of homocysteine i also carry that particular gene which elevates the uh, levels of homocysteine now my recommendation very clearly says that go check your homocysteine level you know it's a normal blood test by which you will know your uh, you know uh, homocysteine level and make sure it's not really crossing the limits uh, now the one more question is there what is making that gene variant which is keeping that homocysteine level up that what is the trigger for that gene variant which also could be identified from this eplimo program in my case the challenge was with a gene called mthfr and the challenge is basically low concentrations of b9 that means genetically i am i am not able to absorb b9 properly so whenever i do a blood test and i see that the homocysteine level is high i go and take a methylfolate supplementation for a period of time and this is a hack which is helping me to prevent the coronary artery disease to happen so this is the best thing which can happen when you know about the risk factors and also the trigger which can lead to that particular disease and block the trigger you can uh, almost like prevent the disease to happen in your lifetime